Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. So for the last five days, I've been on auntie duty and I've got the pleasure of babysitting my two nephews and my niece while my sister go on a vacation to Cancun, Mexico. So they left yesterday. So, and today is departure day from my mom's house. Um, I got, I washed all my clothes and I'm going to make sure that my, everything's fully charged, um, which I should be fine, but make sure everything's fully charged. I need to put my clothes away and I got a few errands to run and this is what I'm going to be dealing with for the next few days. <laughs> So I need to uh, clean out my fridge and go to the grocery store. And I think I need to stop at my storage unit today as well. So, and then I have to stop at uh, my husband's house to pick up some paper and some mail. Um, yeah, cut. So I got some errands to run, some things to do. But first, I'm going to get my butt up out this bed, get myself together, y'all, and go take a shower. And you know what else I got to do? I did wash all my clothes, but I'm telling you, watching the kids, <laughs> oh, man, they're busy. They keep you busy. So after I washed my clothes, I kind of just, uh, here they are right here. I kind of just uh, <laughs> threw them in my pail, but if you look at them, I don't know if you can see through here because it's dark, but they're all wrinkled. So all my clothes are wrinkled, so I'm about to iron all of them. It's not like it's a whole, whole, whole lot, but I want to iron them because what I'm really thinking, like if it's really going to rain for the next four days or so. Um, I want to be situated and be comfortable enough to where I don't have to be out in the rain as much, um, traveling and things like that. So yeah, that's what I'm thinking. And so um, I'm not sure where I'm going to go, but I'm going to figure it out throughout the day. So <laughs> stay tuned, come along with me, and I'm about to get prepared to... Um, Live with the weather. Yeah, live with the weather. That's what I do. I live with the weather. <laughs> Anyways, I'll catch you back in a moment. I woke up this morning. Got me feeling brand new. Like, I know what to do. Got me feeling the scalding. Ancestors sending clues. I'm sending gratitude back. Cause the whole world outside. Sun in my eye. A girl in my ride. So I wanted to show you guys, I'm cleaning up before I leave. I'm almost done at my mom's here now, but I'm cleaning up and I just wanted to show you this antique, I think it's an antique, I don't know, high chair. So I'm just wiping it down, but I really like this high chair. <laughs> I don't know where my mom got this from. I have no idea, but I'm just wiping it down and I'm like, this high chair, if you can feel this, this is solid wood. This is solid wood, oh my goodness. I love this high chair. Look at the design on it. This high chair was built to last. It's not weak or anything. It's sturdy, it's strong, and I'm sure it's been around a block. <laughs> but it's cute. Yeah, so when the, the babies come over here to my mom's in Missouri, um, this is what the baby eats in, and it works just fine, but it's really cute. I just wanted to share that. <laughs> hey, Zion. Are you eating? Are you eating your morning snack? Is it good? Mmm. <laughs> Zion. 
Hi. Yum. Yum, 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 yum. Auntie knows just what that baby needs. Auntie knows just what that baby needs, don't I? Yes, I do. Yum, 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 yum. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> all right, y'all. I'm all dressed. Ready to go. Now I'm going to check out Faith. Um, Check out Faith. Faith is fine, but I'm going to check my batteries. And I do know that I need to clean out the fridge. So let's see how much power we have. Okay. Now I think my jacket should be, oh, it's at 93. I knew it was close to 100. So that's fine because I haven't been using it. And she is at... 84% which I think she's good so I've been at my mom's house for like five days okay maybe six yeah I think six days so um, <laughs> I will say that my refrigerator has been running just fine my van powers power station has been able to keep it running without using an AC outlet. So the solar on top is really, <laughs> you see how it's really changed? <laughs> and you know, I'm, I'm able to not worry about, I mean, I do worry about it, but not as much as I was before. I'm able to, it's gonna run as long, even on cloudy days, I'm getting input. Not as much as it was, as it is when it's a full sunny day, but what I did differently to my sat power refrigerator is I took out the divider, um, which activates um, the separate separation of compartments, the free the freezer and then the fridge. And so just by it being on refrigeration mode, it's not running nearly as much power. Plus the weather has been somewhat chilly and cold some days. So that has helped too. So, but I do know that <laughs> I did have some vegetables in here that I forgot about. And I think they leaked and, you know, got that icky smelly stuff on the bottom. So I think I'm going to clean this baby out yeah, before I put anything else in there. Oh gosh, guys, this is totally embarrassing. Okay, forgot about these. My raspberries went bad. Oh, they're molded. <laughs> oh, disgusting. It stinks in there. So let me show you what I'm working with. <laughs> okay, guys, you see that liquid at the bottom has to go. Now, I mainly ate most of all of my food. Guys, these are like sauces and things like that. So I'm gonna take all of this out. I do have some hot soapy water here and I'm just gonna wash all of this out. Ceiling fan blowing cold breeze on your body. I can't tell you really what it is, but you got it. Make up in the morning, you got dresses in your closet. But you grab them tight, you in love with being modest. You a more body giving sin fuels. I'm just saying I'm a mule. But you ain't even flexing. And you cool, tatted up, cover wounds, different vibe, you know ain't proof. But you ain't even flexing. And you ain't gotta try to walk. Okay, guys. All clean. <laughs> clean and pretty much empty. I don't really have any food, so. That's why I said we have to go to the grocery store because I don't really have much food in here. Um, so now all that I have to do now is uh, get my clothes, put them in a the van, pack, and we can leave.
Okay, I'm leaving the storage unit now. And I just called my husband and he is not at the house right now. So I have to get my mail and stuff at a later date. So I guess right now, all I really have to do is gas up hit the grocery store and find somewhere to chill out, <laughs> you know, for the next couple of days while we go through this rain and stuff. So yeah, so let me get to the grocery store and buy some food for us, for me, I guess, yeah. <laughs> okay, so we are going to the house. His son is there um, and all my mail and stuff is in one location, so, um, I should be able to get in. I know I have a key and all that stuff and, you know, but I still will let a person know I'm coming before I just show up because that's how I would want someone to treat me. Anyway, so I'm on my way over there uh, to get that and then we'll hit the grocery store, okay? <laughs> stomping grounds <laughs> yep 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 okay no I know the dogs are gonna be jumping all over me <laughs> why y'all beating me up Huh, y'all excited to see me? <laughs> huh? Hey, Dior. Hey. Okay. Hi, Ace, baby. Hey, Acey, baby. <laughs> you happy to see me? <laughs> All right. Left his house. Got my mail. Got that squared away. <laughs> the dogs get so excited when anyone comes over there. They just want to jump on people. And <laughs> now I got dog hair all over my legs. Now the white dog, I forgot what make him, what breed the white dog is. But that's their dog that they got after me and my husband separated. But Ace, the little brown dog, that dog is actually uh, my other dog, Chloe, that passed away. That's her son. <laughs> yeah. So, um, and if anyone watched my first live that I did over a year ago, you would know that um, I left Ace, um, Chloe's son, with my husband's son, considering that my husband's son um, has some challenges. And that dog was his friend so I didn't want to take it away from him so <laughs> the plan actually was like Ace would stay with them and I would take Chloe you know but Chloe passed so anyways so now I'm headed to the grocery store and it's starting to rain which is okay because I'm just about done running my errands So roughly right now, my glasses are wet. Uh, roughly right now, it is 2.07 p.m. So the place I want to go to is about three hours away. And I don't want to get there at 5, 6 o'clock. No. Uh, so I'm going to go somewhere a little closer and then maybe head out that way tomorrow. We'll see how it goes, but I'm definitely going to be closer because <laughs> I don't want to deal with this for three hours, just rain and all that. I want to get parked, get situated, get comfortable, all that jazz. So let's get on the road to where I need to go and I'll catch you at the campsite. I can't stand the rain against my window. I can't stand against my window yeah i really can't see but it is really raining out here <laughs> yes it is and it's supposed to be like this for the next four or five days 
gotta live in it. I gotta live with it. I gotta live in it and I'm gonna make it happen. So I finally made it to my campground <laughs> and I actually drove the three hours because I think a lake view suits my soul. So <clears throat> I'm just gonna go over real quick what I purchased at the grocery store. Now I'm not sure how long I'm gonna be out here. I'm gonna assume three days. I'm not sure, but I should have more than enough food to last me um, beyond three days. But since I'm trying to eat a little healthier, y'all, <laughs> I got some um, yellow squash and some zucchini from the store. And I got a can of diced tomatoes. For what reason? I don't know, but I like tomatoes. I got some mangoes, some bananas. And then I think I may have to turn the freezer on. I'm not sure, but I think I got too much. But then I got these stuffed baby Bella mushrooms. It's stuffed with artichoke, spinach, and a cheese blend. Those look good. I got these from Aldi's. And these were different. Uh, frozen avocado chunks. Very different, but I wanted to give them a try. Got some spinach. We got some Brussels sprouts. And I got some salmon, salad mix, and I'm going to try these, <laughs> but these are uh, Black Angus Country Style Beef Ribs. Got, I'm going to try these. I'm not sure if I'm going to cook them out here or later, which is why I want to turn my freezer on to free some of this stuff and I got some chicken thighs and I got these what are these called mushroom tortellinis mushroom tor tortellinis and I have some marinara sauce that I'm gonna cook these with um <laughs> oh that's it but that's not it because I did buy oh yeah some white cheddar popcorn for my snack 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 so I think I'm gonna try to arrange this guys and put the divider back in so that uh, I can get this baby back in freezer mode to freeze some of this food <laughs> so it, it don't go bad on me that's my objective right now. Yeah. Okay, let me check the temp. Okay. All right, got it in freezer mode. And what I'm gonna do now, guys, is I'm gonna take the meat out of these packages because the packages take up too much space and put them in freezer bags. That's what I am going to do. <clears throat> and since <laughs> I don't feel like washing my hands, y'all, I got some gloves. <laughs> yeah. gonna use this tray
And I like to, <clears throat> these are chicken thighs. I like chicken thighs better, more than chicken breast. Because uh, chicken thighs are tender. Tender and I think the serving size is decent. But they're tender, they're juicy, quick and easy to cook. And it has a lot of flavor. <laughs> yeah, so... Boneless, skinless chicken thighs. And I like the bone in too. I like them both. Okay. <clears throat> Got that. And we're going to do the beef ribs. Yes, where's my gloves? So it's not supposed to rain anymore tonight, according to the weather, but it is supposed to rain tomorrow morning, like around 10 or 11, but that can <laughs> change it at any time. But it's supposed to rain sometime tomorrow for sure. So, be free ribs. And you know, I think I'm gonna put all of these in one bag because I think I'm gonna cook all of these at one time. Yeah. And by putting them in Ziploc bags, guys, it, to me, it just saves so much space. So much space. Okay. I wanted to show you guys these cute little ice trays I got off Amazon. <laughs> Look at these cute little ice trays. They're so cute. And um, you just pop them out, but they have lids on them. But they're cute little ice cubes. So this summer, um, I bought these for the summer. So this summer, I can have ice since I have a freezer now. This is late night pizza with Abia. <laughs> okay, it's a few hours later, y'all. And um, we're gonna make the pizza now, okay? Listen. This is my second time cooking it, but the first time I cooked it, I saw some videos on how to do it, and I was just like, this can be done in my air fryer. So what I did was I bought these mini pizza crusts. Now these are, what are they? I forgot what size they are. Ah, la 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 la. They're four ounces, okay? But I thought they were big, small enough to fit in my air fryer, but it's not. So I take one cut in half and cook it half at a time. Uh, and all it is is just a pizza crust. <laughs> so. I take that and I cut this in half and I cook one half at a time. Uh, I have some parchment paper for easy cleanup. Yes, yes, yes. And I don't eat pork. So here I have uh, turkey pepperoni. Uh, so it's made out of turkey, not pork. Then I only have sharp cheddar cheese. <laughs> That's all I have. I didn't get mozzarella, but... You know what? This is going to do tonight, okay? But I do have some Parmesan cheese. And I got my, uh, just some pizza sauce. I think this is from Target. Pizza sauce. And I'm going to add some spinach. And I already chopped them up and stuff and got that ready. 
So what I'm going to do is turn this on to 375. Because I want to get it preheated is what I'm looking for. So let's see. That's about 375. Let's turn this up and get this preheated. And let's put the pizza together. I could have added more spices to it, but y'all, I'm just being for real. I don't feel like getting them. <laughs> I don't feel like getting them. I've done enough today. I really wish I had mozzarella, but this would do. Put this baby in the air fryer. I'm gonna set this in there. And, you know, I may add a little more cheese on top. <laughs> y'all know, y'all already know. And that's what it's looking like in the air fryer. And I'm at 375 for five to seven minutes. All right, just took it out the air fryer. Now I'm going to put it on the plate and put the other one in. It took about five five minutes. All right, let's take a look. <laughs> Here is my air fried pizza. Here's the the crust. You can tell that it's definitely cooked. And we are about to eat while the other one cooks. Parmesan. <laughs> yes. 
honey, just because you live in a minivan <clears throat> don't mean we can't make pizza. Yeah. Mm. Oh, you hear that crunch? Mm. Mm. That crust is good, too. I think I got that from Target, too. Mm-hmm. Does it say pantry on it? Yep. Target. Mm. Hot. <laughs> Pizza in the van. Mm, mm. Homemade pizza. Mmm. Mmm. Pizza in the bam. Okay. <laughs> I've been drinking these sparkling waters lately. I do like them. I know the majority of people don't. <laughs> but the one thing that I love about these is when you read the labels, what does it say? zero everything <laughs> zero fat zero sodium zero carbs zero protein to me this is like drinking water just well it is sparkling water it's flavored sparkling water anyways i am going to finish up my dinner guys Okay. Good morning, guys. <laughs> uh, it started raining at like 6 in the morning. Yeah, and it rained pretty hard. It lightened, lighting, lightning, whatever it is. Yeah, lightning as well. And it's supposed to rain literally all day today. All day. And we're supposed to have thunderstorms later on today, too. So, this is going to be a full day, probably, inside the van. Um, yeah. So, I'm going to end this video right here, guys. And uh, let you guys go while I finish camping out here and enjoy my own company out here it's not too cold i did sleep in my clothes and you know i was okay with that but i got that up for ventilation guys but yeah it's gonna be a rainy day for the next few days so i'm not sure how long i'm gonna last out here i'm not sure how much power i can get from the sun out here as far as like how long so I'm not sure. So I'm just going to roll with the punches, go with the flow, and see what happens. So, guys, I'm going to catch you guys on the next video. So thank you for watching. Um, travel safely. Live your joy. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye. Shalom.